Okay, now we've practiced high alpha and it's time to do some hovering. Simply give the aircraft throttle and pull back on the elevator. Make sure you have high rates. You'll need quite a bit of rudder correction. The tricky part, of course, is that the aircraft will change orientation and when it's facing away from you, um, it gets a little bit complicated. Your brain's going to rebel a little bit the first few times. With some practice, you'll get it. Using some aileron now to keep the aircraft from rotating. When it rotates, it's uh, called a torque roll. Try and hold it still. There's not a lot that uh, can be said to really help someone learning how to torque roll. You just have to keep trying it and get a feel for it. And it's definitely important to understand the rudder and to be able to recover the aircraft from unusual orientations. In Real Flight G3, we've provided a version of the Yak that has a gyro. You can try using that. And that'll make it really easy to hover, and then you could uh, tone down the gain on the gyro. So all I can do is advise you to practice and uh, keep up with it. Keep trying, and I think you'll get it.